What we're looking at down through the open liar system is how well the fruit is exposed to the sun in the morning and at the midday, but not overexposed. A lot of aeration through the clusters, but primarily what you see is a bunch of uh, trunks going from side to side. Back in 2003, this vineyard was converted from Pinot Noir to Sauvignon Blanc, and we also put in the open liar system, which is the big cross arms that are right here. These are big cross arms that support this whole structure and to give us this openness, because we know that Sauvignon Blanc is very vigorous. So what we have here is where the vine was cut off and buds were put in the trunk and allowed to grow and we just went ahead and tied them to the wires as best we could to create the cordons that we have today. We have our own in-house grafter who does our grafting for us, which is a very skilled procedure of putting two buds within the trunk and taping them up and hopefully they grow. The reason we do two buds is a basically an insurance policy because if we only put one in and it fails to grow, then we have to come back. But if we have two that grow, we can utilize those. And in some incidents, like over here, there was two buds put in, but only one grew. And we still made a vine out of it. And down by the trailer, the same thing, you see that. But again, generally the rule of thumb is you put two buds in to have two sources of trunks to come from. And uh, it works very well. The reason to do grafting is to either A, change the variety as the market changes, or to uh, have maybe a different clone out here, which is uh, something that we haven't talked about before, and that's out in this particular vineyard, there's four clonal selections of Sauvignon Blanc, three of them being Entov selections and one being a Musquet selection. And it gives great diversity to the winemakers who purchase fruit from here. So in this particular vineyard this year, I think there's 12 different wineries buying fruit out here at four and five ton lots. 